Biuret reagent can be a rather confusing name. There is a chemical called biuret. It's an amine that has bonds that mimic the peptide bonds in proteins. It has absolutely nothing to do with this reagent or this test, which is good because, like most amines, biuret smells absolutely foul. Biuret reagent, on the other hand, is a solution containing a hydroxide complex of copper dissolved in excess sodium hydroxide. It's prepared using copper sulfate as the source of copper. Some recipes include sodium potassium tartrate as a chelating agent to stabilize the copper, but it's not a critical component and the two component solution works just as well to detect proteins, or biuret, if its vomitous smell doesn't give it away first. Biuret reagent can be used to give a positive negative test for proteins, or the specific concentration of protein can be determined if you use a spectrophotometer, Beer's Law, and a carefully prepared calibration curve. In this video, I'm just going to show the qualitative test. Here we have two test tubes. The one on the left contains some distilled water as a control, and the reagent retains its blue color when it's added to the water. The test tube on the right contains a freshly prepared solution of chicken egg albumin. Right away, you can see the color change to purple. I keep adding more biuret reagent to intensify the color just for the sake of the video, but if you're doing a quantitative test, you would use a constant volume of the test reagent for every sample. But if you're only looking for a yes or no answer, it doesn't get much easier than this test. If you'd like to test for some proteins yourself, pick up a bottle of biuret reagent from my company, Liberty Scientific. I'll leave a direct link in the description. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.